Hello, my dear students and viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Class. In this video, we are going to discuss the revised syllabus question 22 of Class 9, Geography. And we are going to discuss the question and answers of the chapter, Land Resources of Karnataka. So this video is going to be very helpful and informative for you all. So stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it. And my dear viewers, if you want all the other chapters, notes and question and answers of Class 9, Revised Syllabus 2022 of Social, you can visit the description box and find the playlist link where you will get all the videos with the question and answers of all the chapters. The link will also be shared in the i button above. Now let's move ahead, but before that, if you are new to my channel and watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. Let's move ahead with the question and answers and the very first screen here we have is fill in the blanks with suitable words. First one, utilizing land for different purposes is called dash. Answer is land utilization. Next, dash district has the largest net area zone. Answer is Gulbarga. Next one, the Dash district is the largest producer of sugarcane in Karnataka. Answer is Belagavi. Next, tobacco contains an intoxicating substance called Dash. Answer is nicotine. So these are the fill in the blanks. Now we have second main question and answers. The first question here is, Name the different types of land utilization in Karnataka. Answer. The different types of land utilization in Karnataka are net zone area, forest area, land not available for cultivation, other cultivated land and fallow land. So these are the different types of land utilization in Karnataka. Next, second question. Write a note on the importance of agriculture in Karnataka. Answer. Agriculture is the main source of livelihood and the backbone of our state's economy. State's economic progress depends on agriculture. It provides employment to people. It provides food for the people and raw materials to industries. It earns foreign exchange. It helps in the development of the tertiary sector. Next, third question. What is meant by irrigation? Name the main crops grown under irrigation. Answer. The artificial means of supplying water to the agriculture is called irrigation. The crops grown under irrigation are paddy and sugar cane. Next question. Explain the main characteristics of mixed farming. Answer. In addition to growing crops, dairy farming, silkworm rearing, sheep rearing, poultry, beekeeping, fishery, etc. are practiced to supplement income. It is called mixed farming. Next question. Mention the uses of ragi. Answer. Ragi is a food grain with innumerable nutrients. Ragi balls porridge, sprouted flour, malt, dosa, etc. are made from ragi. The stalks of the ragi plant are used as fodder for cattle. It can be preserved for many months. Next main we have match the following. We have column A with questions and column B with options but here we have the correct answers in column B. Okay, so here the answers are correctly matched. So let's see. First one is coffee. Correct answer is beverage crop. Next, cotton. 
Answer is fibrous crop. Next, sugar cane. Answer is commercial crop. Next, nippani. Answer is tobacco. And the next, sheep rearing. Answer is mixed farming. So, all the answers here are matched correctly. Okay. So, these are the match the following with the answers. And with this, we come to an end with the notes of this chapter. I hope these answers were helpful and informative for you all. If you found the video helpful and informative and if you liked it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.